Yo, I'm Saxon with Guy in a Cube, and in this video, we're gonna revisit the slicer panel and compare it with some filters. Stay tuned. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. David Eldersveld had a blog post not too long ago where he actually looked at slicers versus filters. And this just really resonated with me, especially because it was right after I posted the slicer panel video. And I just thought it'd be a great follow-up to just echo what David mentioned about the slicers versus filters. And do we even need slicers anymore? And the answer is, with most things, it depends. So let's jump into my computer and take a look at this. All right, so here's the report that I published. This was with the slicer panel. So just to revisit that, if I select my hamburger icon, I have my slicer panel here and I can change my dates. Uh, I can do whatever I want and it will behave as appropriate. And I can choose a country, everything's good, no big deal. And then I can hide that slicer panel when I want it closed and I have real estate that's freed up inside of my report. This is great. Here's the thing, those are basic slicers. And do we even need slicers now that we have the filter pane? So what am I talking about? Let's go back. So let's head over to my other page here where I've got my actual filters here. So in this case, yes, I still have my slicer panel here, but let's ignore that for right now. And instead let's expand my filter pane. So the filter pane itself can handle these basic slicer operations. So you can see here that I've got sales country and I've got year. So for year, what I was doing in the slicer panel was the same thing. So let's do, let's do 2013 and now it's filtered for 2013. I can say filter it for 2012 and now it's 2012. Not a big deal. Same thing with country. So I can come down and I can say, hey, let's look at Canada and there's Canada itself. And then when I'm done, I can hide this and it disappears. So that filter pane is still there. I can use it if I want. And for basic slicer operations, that may be all you need. You don't need to worry about all the stuff that goes into creating that slicer panel with the bookmarks and selections and hiding and layers and all of that. You don't need to worry about it. Just use the, the filter pane for those basic slicer operations. All right, so when may that filter pane not handle what we're looking for? So the filter pane lets me do a couple things. Let's go back over to Power BI Desktop. And what it can do is it'll handle page level, report level, and visual level filters on that. And those will be visible in the filter pane. So for example, if I, let's show the filter pane here. Let's go over to the filters page. So I've got my page level filters here. So let's come down to product and we'll say, we'll just, uh, let's pick color. So we'll do color as a report level filter and you'll see the separation here. So filter on all pages and then filters on this page. So I can have something that spans across all of those pages. That's cool, but what if I just wanted a given item that only filters to specific pages? So maybe it's only two pages that I want it to cover and not all pages. That's where the filter pane's probably not gonna work for you in that given scenario. So from a slicer perspective, I could come over and let's bring up my item here and we'll select my year slicer and I could come up to view and choose my sync slicer setting. And then I could choose which pages I wanna show that slicer on as well as which page I want them to be linked. So that is an option for you where you're probably need to gonna go slicers if you want it to handle on specific pages as opposed to all pages or an individual page. Pretty cool, you've got some options, whether it be the filter pane or slicers, or maybe it's just personal preference. What do you like and what do you want in your reports? So those are all tools that you have available for you when building your reports. So just think about it a little bit. Think about longer term, like as you're building out all of your report pages and what's the best mechanism for what you're trying to accomplish. The new filter pane is pretty awesome. All right guys, so what do you guys think? Are you using slicers or filter paints? Maybe a mix of the two? What is your preference? Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below and let me know. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome and we'll see you in the next video.